Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. Last time, we completed Skull Dungeon, and we got... Wait for it. Wait for it. The Burning Flame! Today, we're going to be going to... Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Once I remember... Yeah. Um, to this area over in here, because that's where the Mako Tree said that the next thing is going to be Essence of Time. There we go. I remember words. However, we're not going to go there just yet. Because, well, you remember this pole clock I got a while back? It's time to get some use out of it. Oh, really? Right here? Um... Oh my god, a ring. Oh my god. Ah, crap. I really wanted that ring. Yeah, she got more stuff than before, but it's just like consumables. Dang, I really wanted that ring. Oh well. Wait, what am I walking like a plebe for? I, I got gale seeds. What the hell's wrong with me? Well, while I'm here, we'll just go ahead and appraise some rings. Come on. And by rings, I mean ringa. Call this the Light Ring L1. Sword beams at minus two hearts. That's what that ring is. I'll add it to your list. Hmm. Sword beams are cool and all, but I don't need them. Also, while we're here, we'll see if anything opened up at the top of the tree. I mean, it's probably going to be the same old, same old, you know, we still got there. Up, 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 up. We got a gash a seat. Boy, I can't wait to plant a gash a seat. Yeah, fairy, but I'm at full health. Was this always open? Yeah, that seems about right. Okay, then. Also, before I forget, I just want to check on my son. I mean, my godson. Boys, well, so you can rest today. You have more to teach. Heard that a nut's contents depends on the actions of the planner. The more he travels, uh, yeah, I think we already knew that. And that's why you don't tap buttons to speed up text. Mario's gotten better. Thank you. Okay. Just, just had to make sure. Just had to make sure Mario was okay, yo. That was bad, and I feel bad. So here we are back in Lena Village in the past, you know, because we have the pole clock, and I do remember somebody that could benefit from this. Hello, Mr. Postman. This isn't good. I want to deliver the mail on time, but I can't do it if I don't know the time. Show him the pole clock? Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Hmm, tick tock, that tells time. Are you giving me this clock? Don't say a word. Of course you will. What a big help. Here's your reward. Now I'm off to work. I'm a workaholic. You got stationary. Who will you write to? Well, Link doesn't have any loved ones right now because, you know, he kind of got ripped away from his own place and sent here. So, uh, I don't really have much use for this. It, it, it's it's pointless. It's it's just a waste of paper. So since we don't need this paper, paper, do you have any paper? Give him the stationery. Yeah, we'll give him the stationery. Yay. Hmm. Take this. You traded stationery for a 
Stink bag. Ew. It stinks. So... I feel so bad that Link fell into there. So yeah, um... Yeah, that, that, that bag is exactly what you think it is. Let's plant, well, plant a gash of seed, shall we? Just to take our minds off of that. So yeah, uh... I don't know, I don't really want a, uh... Stink bag. Like... At all. So, uh... We're gonna have to find somewhere to get rid of this. So we have a literal bag of shit. And, well, my opinion of the Tokes are that they are shit because, you know, they stole from me. Granted, it was their ancestors, but Link holds a grudge. So, let's put this shit where it belongs. With the freaking Toke. You have to cook dinner for all the Toke, but by those, it's all stuffed up. If I cook, it will taste all but. Yeah, let's give him the stink bag. Huh? What's that? Rip. Sniff. Ew. Pee you. That smell. Ew. Ew. What was that? My nose stings. That was stinky. <gasps> stinky? That smell. It cleared up my nose. Thanks. That bag did it. I need it. It's unbearable. I'll trade you something really good for it. Oh, you got tasty meat. It's the chef's specialty. Alright, cool. You had a dinner fixings. Well, don't, don't, don't say that I gave you this idea, but you do have a stink bag, just saying, you know, you might be able to cook up a little something, something with that, you never know, you know. Like people like Limburger cheese, and that smells awful, so, I mean, hey, you might be onto something here. Huh. But I don't know if he washed his hands, though, so I don't really know if I want this tasty meat. You might need to drop this off somewhere. Okay, so if you've ever played Majora's Mask, you know that the Happy Mask salesman is always up to no good. So, he might know somebody where I should be able to give this tasty meat off to, cause, like I said, we, we handed the Toke a stink bag. We don't know what he did with his hands or what he did with the stink bag before he gave us the meat. So I, you know, I, I, I just, I just wouldn't trust it. I just wouldn't trust it. I'm so hungry. My stomach hurts. Ah, I'm hungry. Pardon me. I just thought you could help. Ah, I'm hungry. I mean, I wouldn't recommend eating it, but hey, you, you want this tasty meat? Pa, meat. What's this? Hand it over. Food at last. Chomp chomp. Why are you staring at me? Oh, you want something. How greedy. How mean. You won't leave until you get something. Fine. You can have this. Pa, meat. You got a doggy mask. A dog lover will love it. All right, well, let, let, let's just be on our Good Samaritan grind. Let's give it to Mamu Yan. She likes dogs. Maybe she'll like a dog mask. Uh, did not mean to do that. Go back, please. Thank you. Okay. Wrong button. But yeah, she likes dogs. Might as well give it to her, you know? Let's actually, like, try to be nice. Let's try to do something positive. I'm Mamuyan, or Mamamuyan, my bad, I'm sorry, the top breeder in town. My dog is much cuter than that dog, much cuter. But my dog is very shy. Well, that mask, it fits my dog perfectly. Let me have that mask. Alright. Your dog lover is the dog mask. Good boy. You deserve the toy that my dog played with.
You got a dumbbell. But there's only one. What's wrong, boy? I only had one to begin with. Now my mommy Yan's dog is as cute as can be. <laughs> I feel sorry for that dog. So, a single dumbbell, huh? I, I don't really know what to do with this. Like, at all. It, it's useless. Maybe there's a scrawny guy I can just griff this off to. No, he, he doesn't need to know that it's best to have two dumbbells instead of just a single one. Here we are, back in Symmetry Village in the past. Sway right, sway left, move left, sway right, move right, sway left. I'm so skinny. I wish I could change. I know, I'll work out. Except, I have only one dumbbell. Well, aren't you in luck, my buddy? Working one arm at a time, it goes against my policy. If I can't do left and right at the same time, He seems to be fixated on your dumbbell. Give him the dumbbell? Yes, but what's in it for me? That's it! What I wanted! Now I can lift! 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 I'll get all the girls now, eh? I'm so skinny, I can't offer you much. Um, I know. Gotta work out. You got a cheesy mustache. It's weird. Get the girls. Get the girls. Well, he has a one-track mind. So, yeah, uh, he ripped off his mustache and gave it to me. I I guess th thank you? Um, I, I really don't want another man's facial hair. You know, that's, that's kind of weird. Just saying, just saying. Um... I don't know, maybe we can pull a Scott Tennerman, uh, you know, from South Park and just find somebody to sell this to. Like, hey kid, you want to grow your own mustache? Here you go. <laughs> and then run away. Okay, um, that might work. Okay, try as I might, I couldn't find any kids naive enough to sell the mustache to. So I'm going to look for somebody who knows all about naive kids. Oh, here he is, the magician. Yeah. Like, it's his job to trick naive kids into believing everything he does is real. I just want to make people laugh. There's got to be an easy way. Oh, you just want to make them laugh? You don't want to do magic tricks? Well, fine, you can just take this regardless. What a hilarious mustache. It's a riot. Okay, buddy, I'm going to teach you the funniest gag I know. Okay. Here goes. You learned a funny joke. Will you be a big hit? I don't think that's how jokes work, but okay. How do you like my mustache? It's ugly. Alright, so I got a funny joke. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't really know what to do with this. Hmm. That is a toughie. That is a toughie indeed. Is there somebody that needs to be cheered up? Maybe we could try that out. Wait a minute. An emo child. Maybe he needs to be cheered up. Who are you? Well, welcome to the darkness of my troubles. I'm so depressed. I want to laugh until I forget everything. Then I'd be happy. Ha. Ah. All right, let's tell him the funny joke. This is our big break. Let's do it, kid. I don't get it. Huh? What's that? Huh. Oh. That's so funny. I forgot to laugh. Thanks. 
Thanks to you, I can be as depressed as I want to be. You can take any book you want from that bookshelf. You got a touching book. Aw, it's a sad story. That's enough. Like a bird I once saw fly off somewhere. Okay, I guess we didn't do that good of a job in cheering them up. But at least we got a touching book. Did we get a look at the title, though? Because if it's a romance novel, I, I don't really want this. Uh, I don't know, maybe there's somebody else who will take it. Oh, I did plant a gash of seed here, huh? Completely forgot. Hey, a ring was inside! Just gonna go ahead, go off screen, and ah, crap, I need to equip the. There we go. Oh. Well, that's convenient. Magasha tree grew. We got maple here, but this is a pretty weird spot in. Oh no, my book. Hey, that book! That's the touching book I need to take the syrup. Why do you have it? Let me read it. What? Oh my. Ooh. Oh, uh, uh. How touching. You got the magic ore. It cuts a mean wake. Thanks. It was good. Take this. It's the first one I made. Sirp never gave me any compliments on it. I'll keep this book. Why, 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 why did you have an oar? The, the, the frick am I gonna do with this oar? I don't... It, whatever. What's this? Ooh, a ring. Thank you. Well, might as well plant another one while I'm here. What, a magical ore? What? What am I gonna... I don't want this. I don't know. Maybe Rafton might have an idea of what to do with it. Alright. Come on, Rafton. Hey, how goes to Rafton? I'm thinking of entering a raft race, but I haven't been able to find a decent ore to race with. Well, I have just the thing for you. Whoa, that ore. It looks like a toy, but I like it. Thanks, in exchange. I know, how's this? Lazily playing guitar while gazing at the moon is so nice. You got the sea ukulele. It has a sweet sea scent. Hey, are you working hard? Or hardly working? <laughs> huh. So what the hell am I gonna do with this freaking ukulele? Okay, well, um, I've exhausted all avenues. I don't really know where to take this sea ukulele, so... Let's just, uh, go up over to where the Maker Tree said the next Essence of Time is gonna be. Might as well. Only Ridge Base, Lena Village. What's down here? Hmm. Well, I do have the switch hook. Because we can switch place with those rocks. <laughs> Yay! Well, hello there, buddy. How I miss the smell and sound of the sea. Well, I have just the thing for you. That ukulele has the spirit of the sea in it. That smell, that sound. It's good of you to respect your elders, kids. I see you're on some adventure. Well, I give you something old. This is the hero sword. That a great hero gave my ancestors long ago. You got the broken sword. Hey! It's broken! What's that? It's broken? Uh, ahem. Ah, um, 
What a great sound. I don't even want to think about any broken swords, you know? No, I mean, I have the power to fix anything, so I have to do it. What? Alright, well, we got freaking shafted. I don't know, uh... Screw it. Let's, let's run by Patch. Let, let, let's see if he might be able to fix this. Okay, that was highly annoying and I'm almost dead, but... Hey! We made it over here to Patch. I am so glad he has hearts in his vases. What? He, he can patch those right up. It's, it's in his name. I haven't seen you in a while. If you've come all the way up the wall, you must need something fixed. But my fun, uh, uh, delicate ceremony is more difficult now. Do you wish to try? Yes. Yeah, I see. You want me to repair that broken sword? My restoration ceremony might fix it. Want to try? Yes. You are willing to try? Very well, follow me. <laughs> Alright then. Let's freaking go. Welcome to Patch's Crazy Card. Will you partake in my ceremony? Yes. Very well, do you want to hear the rules? No. Let the ceremony begin. Alright. Well, they're red now. That means they're serious. Seriously weak. Okay, okay, all right, all right, uh, chill. Okay, I see how this is going to be. Um, thank you for not being... What kind of crazy chance are you doing there, buddy? But I'm glad he's not Kepora Gebora. He actually starts off on the, uh... Like, proper prompt that we need instead of like, oh, do you not ever want to no longer hear my explanation? No? Okay, then here you go again. I was standing. Oh my god. Okay, um. This is gonna take a few attempts. That was a freaking nightmare. Uh, so yeah, that that took a took more attempts than the first one. That's for dang sure. Hmm. <laughs> the ceremony succeeded. You are talented. You got through this tra uh, ceremony. Here is your broken sword, as good as new. As usual, I am perfect. Here you go. You got the sacred noble sword. Bring me anything else that needs fixing, and I'll prepare my tri ceremony. So yeah, we now have a stronger sword. So that was the swap chain of this game. It's a pretty common thing in Zelda games to have like a little like series of events where you're just trading items until you get the best item possible for that particular chain of events. For example, the Biggerin Sword in Ocarina of Time. So, yeah, we were finally able to do all parts of that now. Um, we could have started way back when, but it's best to just wait until you can do it all at once. And 
ultimately you need the switch hook to be able to finish it because of that Zora. So yeah, we now have a better sword and it feels so good. It also shoots lasers. We're at full health. That's why I wasn't so fussed about the uh, ring that gives me sword beams. So, yeah. Now that we have this, let's actually get back on the main plot, I guess, for lack of a better term. Yeah, let, let, let's go with that. Uh, but first things first, I think there's a gaseous tree that I can just go ahead and harvest. Might as well. Yep, sure is. All right. Tell me what I got. There was a ring inside. Heck yes. Do I have another seed? Nope, I do not. All right. Okay, so the Meku tree did say that the next essence of time is going to be to the east. And, I mean, here I am, to the east. But I'm going up instead of down. Because I don't need to speak to that freaking Zora. I'm going to go ahead... Do I need to be in the present time? I mean, they're allowing me to go over here in the past, so... Hey, it's cool. And look, it's Gorons! This is the home of the Gorons. It's terrible. The Goron Elder has been buried alive under some rocks. What do we do? <gasps> well, it looks like they're doing their thing. Help, hurry. The Elder will die if we don't hurry. If only we had a bomb flower. The Elder is buried alive, but Gorons alone can't dig him out. If we had the legendary Bomb Flower, we could blast the rocks away. Alright, I'll see what I can do there, buddy. Gorons are cool. I, I, I don't want them to be sad. Let's go to the present. See if we can find some leads. Even though, technically, in this present time, the Goron Elder is probably long dead... But, you know, that, that, that's when we get into time paradoxes, and I don't feel like thinking about that right now. Would this have been another issue where it would have been solved completely if I had Ricky? Uh, maybe it's not wide enough for him. Yeah, it's been a hot minute since I last used Ricky. I always like to rot- or I always liked to rotate between him, Dimitri, and Moosh. So I have no idea if I'm going the correct way. So this is a maze. Some weird building suddenly appeared here on Rolling Ridge. Some guy called the Great Moblin built it, but... Uh, I skipped that text. But it's in our way. Just like how you were in my way? D sub, uh, I, I need to put a different item on A. I... I was expecting like, oh, it's uh, Echo went out in vain or some crap. A young boy brought bomb flowers to Rolling Ridge. Thanks to him, bomb flowers are now the product that makes Rolling Ridge famous. Oh, way to break the time paradox. Where am I going? Okay. Um, I don't know. There, there's still more cave I haven't explored. That was the customary greeting jump. Rolling Ridge is in uproar now with the Great Moblin here. Alright, well, fine. Okay. I got sword lasers. I don't need to be afraid of y'all. And that's where we can drop down if we really wish. No need. Great Moblin's Palace. Well, thank you for spelling that out. Oh my lord. Um. Oh no, she's on a vacuum. Hell no, nah, no. Nah, I, I'm not ready for that right now. Uh, yeah, sh she's now at the point where she's on a vacuum, which means she's gonna be moving a lot faster. I don't want to deal with that right now. And I'll need to speak to the fairy. There, so we can go back to the. Screw you. Not to mention, like, if something would have went up top over here, I wouldn't have been able to grab it myself. 
Oh yeah, this sword is also strong enough to break signs. That's kind of mean. Well, there's the fortress. I mean, there's still more cave I have to explore, but let, let's let's just go. So I've already screwed up. But I'm not fast enough. No! Alright, we're in 2D world. Wrong thing. There we go. Okay. Whatever, we can tank that. I got a lot of HP. Okay. Oh no. Platforming. In Zelda. Okay, that... I, I was completely offbeat. Cheap cheeps, I'm gonna take my lack of rhythm out on you. You didn't drop another heart. That's... Sad times. Okay, there are a lot of paths here. I don't feel like swimming down for that. Here we go. Okay. I genuinely do not remember any of this. I'm, I did not get hurt. He did. I should have grabbed that heart. So where did the first staircase go? Ah, oh, whatever. Uh, I'm curious. I need to see what was in that first one. Nope. I'm not fast enough. All right, time to see what's up in here. A ring. Yeah. Hopefully it's a good one. Might as well break these open and see what I can get. Oh my God, I'm got to bomb those things again, huh? Thank you for the bombs here then. Otherwise that'll be a soft block and that's no fun. Okay, so there's really not much I can do here right now. I mean, there's still more cave to explore. Might, might as well explore more cave. Before we do anything else. Interesting. Okay, so there was nothing right there for me. I want to go get rid of the Great Moblin, but I can't roll fast enough to get there. Long ago, on top of this ridge, there was a tree that had seeds that made you go fast. Even a Goron could roll at great speeds. Interesting. Also, where does this lead? <gasps> Treasure! It, oh my, 30 rupees, really. Had me thinking it was about to be something magical and glorious. Thrilling even, but no. 30 rupees, huh? And what's up here? Probably useless knowledge on a dead end. For since that big pig, the great moblin came, we haven't been able to grow the Goran's famed bomb flowers. Wow, he pushed me right back into the stair, okay. Piece of heart. I gotta check. Okay, none of these walls are hollow. That is a shame.
Did I go over here? Because there's this staircase. That's not a piece of heart, that's 50 rupees. I want that piece of heart. This wall looks different. I barely noticed, there we go. Okay. That was a worthwhile expedition. And yeah, we got rupees, who cares about that? But we also managed to get a piece of heart. So now, let's do a little bit of time traveling. Hopefully I don't die to these enemies. Okay, cool. Uh, that, that, yep, and A. So how's this place gonna change in the past? We got some tech tights. They're they're pretty easy to kill. Feels so good to have a stronger sword. This is what true power feels like. <gasps> it's magnificent. I'm I'm killing blue tech tights in a single hit. I love it. So what do we have up here? Well, this is where the great Moblin built his present day abode took me a while to think of that word there is nothing in here those don't have the background that lets you know that there's something like at the bottom of the pit so yeah they just hurt me uh, my earphones okay fell out it's fine I was able to recover <gasps> what are these you got Pegasus seeds they'll make you as quick as the legendary steed open your seed satchel to use them I wonder if I can use this to get past the falling floor in the great Moblin's castle only one way to find out after I explore here. I have priorities, okay? I just want to see what I can find. You humans are looking stranger every day. What happened? Okay, rude. I don't talk about your looks. There's some racket coming up from down below. Did something happen? Yeah, you know, the elder is kind of dying, but yeah. You know. Did something happen? Yeah, yeah, I guess the Goran Elder is buried under a pile of rocks. I hope someone can save him. Why, why, why aren't you doing anything to help? Okay, can't really do anything this way. Guess it's time to return to the present. Let's just make this simple. I, I, I can just do it in here. I can't. I need to be outside. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, so that's why the prompt saying like, oh, your thing echoed out in vain didn't show up initially. Okay, so right here should be fine. Let's go. All right, Moblin. Uh, uh, okay, you know what? No, no, no. You, you, you need to die. I'm sorry, Sign. The Sign was an unnecessary victim, an innocent bystander. May it rest in peace. Let us never forget that Sign. But now I have Pegasus seeds. Let's freaking go. I am the Usain Bolt of Hyrule. We're not even in Hyrule. Okay, well, you know what? You you, you can just shut up. Okay? Labrinia is close enough to Hyrule. I mean, some of the same monsters are in Hyrule. 
show up here. Who enters my fine keep so impertinently? Ha! I got it. You've come to steal the bomb flowers I'm collecting, haven't you? It won't happen, you pilfering thief. Don't think I'll let you out alive. Alright, so, uh, this is essentially a mini-boss fight. It's gonna throw bombs. Throw them back. That's it. You throw them back. Preferably when they're flashing, so he gets hurt. So, yeah, just avoid the bombs that the other moblins are throwing. Get them. Okay. Get him. Not the hardest fight. Get him. Oh, ooh, that, that did not get him. Alright, we're, we're going to have to do better about our getting of M. Get him. How many hits do you take? Oh, no. How many hits do I take? Okay, seriously, I, I'm, I'm trying to get him. You... Apparently, I'm the one getting got. I would rather not. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Um, I need to do a little bit better. Because death could be imminent. Got him. No. It can't be. Why me? You better run. <gasps> They're back. I don't know who you are or where you're from, but thank you for getting rid of the great moblin. That wretch was keeping us from growing bomb flowers. Now we can grow bomb flowers without any worries. Take one as a sign of our thanks. You got a bomb flower. Handle it with care. Now that I think about it, long ago a long boy saved the Gorin Elder. Maybe you can be like that boy. We won't get pushed around the next time a guy like the great moblin comes around. Thanks. Convenient timing! Link, your name has appeared in old Goron tales. Their legends tell of a great hero who saved the Gorons in their hour of need. What could this mean? Like, y'all really can't spell this out anymore. Like, come on. It's, it's simple. Oh, I remember this mechanic. Uh... We'll go ahead and let the owl explain it, but yeah, we're going to be using a particular item combination here. Greater speed gives greater distance, woo! So yeah, um... I'd be more comfortable with this. Okay, so if we use that and then booyah... Of course that happens when I don't have my freaking sword. Okay. Well, at least we got a fairy. Okay, that was bad, but at least I still got all these Pegasus seeds and we can jump greater distances. This is so unfortunate. Okay, I see that keys, and I'm very afraid. But I don't need to be afraid of a freaking bat. What's up here? Somewhere I'm not supposed to be yet, huh? Alright then. Let us not uh, speak of that again. Okay, I, I swear I am trying to press the jump button. It's just not really working all that well. It tends to happen to the best of us. Okay. So I can't do anything about that just yet. That's fine. I, I'm not fighting you, Mabel. Not right now. Not at that particular location. But yeah, we got bomb flowers. I 
How am I going to get back? Okay. Thankfully, there's a portal not too far from here. Yeah, okay, Rolling Ridge, Luna City. Okay. Yep, see, it's right here. All right. Time to save the day. Hey, is that one of the legendary bomb flowers? You can't fool me. That's the unmistakable smell of a bomb flower. Please, let me have that. Bomb flower. All right. Thank you. Now we can save the elder. Yay! Huh? What's wrong? Brothers, were you worried about me? <laughs> A rock that size can't hurt me. <laughs> Alright, well, let's talk to him. Did you bring us the bomb flower? Sorry to trouble you. This is the shiny key I found on Northern Peak. I never found the keyhole, so I'll give this to you. You got the crown key! We shall take good care of the bomb flowers you brought us. We shall fill the peaks with them. And thus history was made. The end. So, gee, I wonder where I can use this key. <clears throat> oh, and in case you're wondering where these stairs lead, they lead right there. In case you want to go back through and try to get that piece of heart if you missed it the first time. Alright, so... We have a key. There's a keyhole. Let's use it. Present day, by the way. So, looks like we have unlocked the next dungeon. Crown dungeon, to be exact. This theme sounds evil. So yeah, next time, we're going to be exploring Crown Dungeon. Thank you all for watching, have a great day, and see you next time for some more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. Goodbye.